Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install CentOS Stream 10 server on VMA Workstation. First go to CentOS official website and download. It is CentOS.org. Hit enter. Then click on download. See here, we have the version number 9 and 10. So click on this ISOs. Wait a moment. See download started. Go to download. See here, its size is about 7.6. Gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMA Workstation. Then click on create a new virtual machine. Then click on next. Then select the installer disk image file that is ISO. Then click on browse. Then go to the where that downloaded CentOS stream is there. See, I have copied that CentOS stream ISO here. Okay, select it. Then click on next. Now provide the name. Then select the path where you have the NF space. See here in the location. Click on browse. Then select the location. If you are okay with that location, it's fine. Click on OK. Click on next. Then provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, this is the summary of the virtual machine. If you want to customize any one of these settings, then click on customize hardware. I want to increase memory to 4 gigabytes. So, click on customize hardware. See, by default memory selected 1 gigabyte. So, you can provide in megabytes here or use this pointer to move up or down. Okay. Then number of processors I am giving to. Then click on close. And see here the checkbox power on this virtual machine after creation. I select it and click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select settings or select it and go to VM and settings. All three options are same. Now, if you want to provide, now if you want to provide description, click on here and you can provide the description. Okay. For okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Now, use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install CentOS stream 10 and hit enter. Now select the language and see here welcome to CentOS stream 10. Select the language and click on continue. See here the beginning station is grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be filled or must be configured. Also see here please complete the items that are marked with this warning icon before continuing to next step. So select the installation destination. I am okay with the default. Click on done. Then root account. I want to enable it, then we have to set the password. Then confirm the same. Then select the checkbox that is allow root SSH login with password. Then click on done. See, once you selected these two options, we are able to click on beginning station. But click on user creation, then create user. And see here the checkbox add, add administrative privileges to this user account. Then provide the password for this user. Confirm the same. Click on done. In this video, we are going to only install server edition. If we click on begin installation, this will be the server edge UI. But I want only server edition, so click on software selection. See here we have the options like in the waste environment. See here we have the options server edge UI, server, minimal install, workstation, custom operating system, virtualization host. In this video, I want to install only server. So select server, then we have to select the these additional softwares. Whatever you want, you can select. Then click on done. If you want to configure time and date, you have to click on here. Then you have to provide. Okay, I don't want. Click on done. Then keyboard language support. Remaining options, I am going with defaults. Then, if you are okay with all the settings, then click on begin installation. See, installation has been started. This will take time. I am going to pause this video. And then it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. Installation is completed. Now click on reboot system. See, we got the CentOS stream 10 and its code name is Kaflan. Okay, this is the kernel number that is 6.12. Okay, now provide the login name that is the user that we have created. R2 schools or you can give the root. Then provide the password of this user. Hit enter. 
and also see here this is the IP of this machine okay if you type if config you will get the same okay see IP okay so controlling more slash etc OS hyphen release see we have installed CentOS 3 10 and its ID is like RHL or Fedora okay see if cursor is not visible if you want to release the cursor just press alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor okay the first step after connecting to CentOS is we have to update the packages sudo dnf update ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade hit enter provide the password of the user that you have created hit enter see updation and updation is in progress this will take time okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install CentOS stream 10 server edition on VMware workstation okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you